Shall we start again? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Uh, it's the beginning of another video. I've got a little bit of a duke on today because my hair is kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess and I don't want to deal with it. And I've been procrastinating about taking my hair, taking my hair to the barbershop, taking myself to the barbershop for a haircut because I am going away in two weeks. And if I go now, then I'm going to have to go back before my trip. And then it's just like... Anyway, how are you guys? How are you guys doing? Huh? It's a new video. Uh, uh, I want to bake today. I feel like I used to bake quite a bit. I used to make scones. I used to make... Uh, then when I started like baking the healthy kind of stuff, I would make like banana oatmeal cookies and I would make healthy brownies and stuff. So today, really, really fixing for a banana bread, right? But a healthier version of a banana bread. So I'm thinking probably going to have, um, uh, what's this, banana oatmeal bread. Oatmeal banana bread, <laughs> something like that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I've got the recipe on my phone. Uh, this will be the first time I'm actually making the oatmeal banana bread. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm better at cooking than I am at baking, so I'm quite apprehensive about this one. <laughs> but in the meantime, just got back from the store. I will show you what I have picked up. We're going to bake. We're going to relax. We're going to unwind. Um, you're just going to spend the day with me. I don't even know what a day with me looks like nowadays. In fact, let me just put on some cologne because I haven't actually spritzed anything. This is the pocket size version of one of my Atelier cologne perfumes. I've had this for a while now. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh, God, I'm good. Okay. Um, so I just picked up basics. From the stove. Um, firstly, sparkling water. Now, I don't pick up sparkling water because I want to be bougie and just drink sparkling water going forward. No. When I drink my gin, I now make it with sparkling water as opposed to tonic water. It's a great substitute in terms of, you know, sugar and things like that. And sparkling water gives that acidic effect of uh, tonic water, like the bubbles and all of that. So... Yeah, I just add like a little spritzer of um, elderflower syrup and then I drown it in gin and sparkling wood. <laughs> but I'll show you how I'm going to prepare that because I am thinking of sitting outside today. It's hella hot. It's crazy hot. But maybe later on this afternoon, say maybe around four, just sit outside, have some fruits, blah, blah, blah. Picked up a couple of things that I want to show you guys. We're going to be doing quite a bit of stuff in the kitchen today. Um, I am also going to be cooking later, so there's going to be a lot going on. But this is for my afternoon session. I'm not even, I don't even use one bottle, but okay. Um, and then I got the um, non-stick uh, spray, the cooking spray. Sometimes you just don't want to pour oil, especially when you're baking. You just want to go, Psh, and that's pretty much it. Um, the funny thing is I forgot to buy parchment paper, which is fantastic. I'm just going to have to go with it. Got some milk. I don't like to bake with... Am I going to need milk today? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I don't like to bake with uh, almond milk. I like to bake with full cream milk. So, ugh. and then in this packet, simple scones. Um, I got the scones. Butter. <laughs> Butter. Spray. Okay. I got the Easy Mix Scone Mix. Now, this is not for me per se. It's for visitors. Um, I used to use the scone mix when I would cook my food. So, I mean, when I would bake my scones. Jesus. For visitors. So, um, that's what I did. Because my aunt kind of loves it when I make scones for her. So, it's really just for the visitors. Then I got some veggies. I uh, can really smell the broccoli. Got some veggies for cooking this afternoon for supper. I don't know this among to this afternoon what I'm talking about because it's already half past 12. Uh, some vanilla essence because you can't go wrong with vanilla essence. Some Viennas because you guys won't believe the amount of Viennas that I eat. I love Viennas. 
as a replacement for Russian or as a replacement for bacon sometimes, I just throw a Vienna in there and I keep it moving. Uh, and then last out is, of course, baking powder because we are going to be baking today. So baking powder is it. And then that's pretty much it in terms of food stuffs. Um, let me pack this away and then I want to show you what else I got. And I wanted to show you guys that the theme here is gloss and wood. I really, really like gloss and wood together. Um, also my, what is it? Tissue holder, uh, kitchen towel rack holder is also wooden. I really like wooden because there's wooden element touches in my home everywhere, okay? So the point that I'm trying to make is I'm going to emphasize what I'm about to show you. That's so as you remember from my kitchen organization video, I have these glass containers, right? Right. And uh, I remember some, um, and um, I remember someone was uh, asking me a while ago that um, how do you know how long you've kept that the stuff, the food stuffs in there, and um, you know how do you know when it's gone off, whatever, whatever. So for me, because I live alone, let me explain this. Because I live alone, I never buy. Um, a lot of anything if I buy muesli I never buy a lot of muesli if I buy oats never buy a lot of oats if I buy burglar wheat I never buy a lot like a big pack I'll always just buy something smaller and then what I do is after I've emptied it into the thing I'll just take a marker and then I'll put down the month of like it's right here it's right here in black I don't know you guys is focusing on me but I'll put down the month and then as soon as um, I just check underneath every time as I go and then as soon as the month has lapsed, I just take that out and then I change it and change it out. Does that make sense? Anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point. The point is, guess what I got from Westpac? Got you. I went to at two Westpac friends. I went to Westpac and darling. Darling, darling, this didn't, I wanna didn't. See how tall this is? Pretty much almost, yeah, pretty much almost the same height as this one with the oats. Didn't was 60 rand, this, this. And I remember going into Wayland's, uh, I think, um, Maybe it was about two months ago, saw the exact same thing, and they were going for 120. So they were going for double the price. I went to Westpac. Don't ever say I didn't put you on. And I bought four of these. And there's also a reason why I bought quite a few of them. Um, here's another one. I'm going to need to wash them. I feel like that's the most draining part of the whole thing. And then I also got the smaller ones. This is pretty much where I'm going to be putting my rice and my burglar wheat and my couscous. All the things that I don't buy big portions of, I put them in here. And then what I've planned to do with the remaining these, I'll call it that. So what I'm planning to do is with the remaining ones, I've planned that um, my fruits, things like strawberries, uh, berries, the ones that sit in the fridge, I want them to sit in glass containers and not the containers that they come with because one, they'll last longer and also it just saves up more space. No more plastic containers in the fridge as well. So I'm going to show you that whole thing, that whole process. Firstly, I'm going to wash these and then empty out the contents, make my markings and then we're going we're gonna to get into the business of the day. That's why I told you we're going to be spending a lot of time in my kitchen. That's why we're here. That's what we're doing. This one is slightly taller and this keeps my spaghetti. So as you can see, the lid is different. This one I'm going to keep the same because uh, they didn't have taller versions of this. So this one's just, this one just made it, just made it.
okay so now we've got the older ones i just washed them these are the older ones i've got plans for these so i'm going to leave the smaller ones to the side and i want to show you what i'm going to put in these so as you know i got a biscuit container here right now i'm thinking of transferring the biscuits into here and then right here I picked up some rusks the other day. I'm thinking of putting the rusks in there. Let's see how it'll look. It might not be a thing. It might just absolutely be a thing. So. So that's as much as I could get in there in terms of the rusts. That's fine. There's only like two left over, so that's okay. I'll add it to the cookies that I'm going to take to work tomorrow. And I think this looks proper. I love how it looks, and I think it's, it's a brilliant idea. So we're now going to put them where I normally put these things. Let's go. So now with these, as you can see, these are the fruits. I've just washed them. As you can see, they're dripping. I washed them while they were in the containers. <laughs> so what we're going to do with these ones, these ones, is put in the fruits. So let me show you. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. I think once the fruit is in here, um, one, it lasts longer because it's in a glass container that is, is uh, sealed. So one, it lasts longer, but also it is, uh, it's just more easily accessible and it doesn't have the, like this just shocking look of the, the plastic containers. I feel like I just started getting really sick and tired of looking at these plastic containers. So that it's what I am doing now. Proper sealed, clean, looking fantastic. Easy for you to just take and grab, grab and go. Okay, so here we are. We're about to make this banana bread. Don't mind me. I don't have mixing bowls. It should show you, or at least show you, um, how often I don't bake. <laughs> so here, here are the ingredients. Um, I'm going to need four ripe bananas. These seem relatively ripe for me. It does say two eggs, but these eggs are really tiny. So I'm thinking three. We're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. We're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla essence, half a cup of Greek yogurt, half a cup of honey. As you can tell, that's not half a cup. I am running out of honey. So we're just, we're just going to hope for the best. Half a cup of butter, which I am going to melt in the microwave. And then we're going to need a cup of rolled oats, a cup of rolled oats. And we're going to need a cup and a half of normal oats. This is your jungle oats or what have you. Um, this is just going to be for the grit. So it has a bit of texture. Uh, and then this is literally going to be the base, what you would use flour you know, as a substitute in this kind of um, baking thing. And then we're going to need half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking powder, which in this country is known as, I mean, baking soda, which in this country is known as bicarb of soba, soda. And then, <laughs> I'm such a mess. And then we're going to also need half a teaspoon of baking powder. This is going to help it rise, of course. So um, this is... The, 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 the stiff and then I'm going to do some mixing in here um, I, I'll show you everything I'm gonna start with the wet ingredients first and I'm gonna add them in there and then I will add my crushed bananas I'm gonna crush my bananas on the side and then I'll add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients you feel me
this to the bananas. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. So, just a quick one. This is the point where you can add chocolate chip nibs if you want. You can add the nuts. You can add whatever. It is totally up to you. I am going. I'm going to add a little bit of the almond almond, almond flakes. I'm going to add that in there. It's going to be good. And then I've got hazelnut. Um, what's this? Not hazelnut. Um honeycomb honeycomb shavings which are also probably going to be fantastic okay where's the spoon here it is i'm going to add those in there not too many because why why are you going with too many why um i'm actually thinking i can make this a banana bread you could also make it in the cupcake muffin tins as well that'd be so good okay so this is what I wanted to show you. I've got the tin, the baking tin for the banana bread, but I've also got this one, which is a little bit um, more in terms of circumference and um, it's not as deep. So I'm worried about how it will rise in this one. Uh, how are we gonna do this kids? I think we're gonna go with this and then I can use the cupcake muffin tins if there's a little bit of it left over. I just need to make sure that I don't fill it up right up to the brim. So let's experiment, shall we? <coughs> so we're gonna add this in there. Oh, let's see how this is gonna come out. And you're just gonna spread it across before we add any more. like that this is nice because then i can make it into small little cubes as well which will be easier for me to eat throughout the week which would be fantastic i think this vlog is going to be so long oh my god Got my muffin tin right there um it'll probably be equivalent for four to be honest so i'm gonna take these out these are so great because then you know that you just don't have to they just sit there so cute look at them okay and then just a little bit just a teens you don't even need oil for this but just to be safe Oh, that cooking oil. Then we're going to add... Oh. wait um let me look at the time they should be going in there that should be in there for at least another it's two o'clock on the dot now so about 50 minutes that's a long time so we wait it out in the meantime i'm gonna tidy up and clean up my kitchen which is a hot mess do you see that uh i'm gonna tidy up and i don't even know if i'm gonna make dinner at this point because i'm i'm done man i'm done Okay, 
Okay, speak now span. There's my baby in the back. Now, guys, here we go. As you can see, right? This is the problem with me. If there's one thing that I don't do, it's pack dishes away. Even the lovely lady, Utandi, when she comes here and she tidies up my place and she makes it look beautiful, she knows that come Monday, especially after the weekend, she's going to find dishes sitting like this. So I'll wash them over the weekend, then I'll take them and put them right back. Meanwhile, the cupboards are right here, but no, 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 no. I want to take them, put them right here as they've dried, and then I leave them there. And then when Tandy comes Monday morning, first thing, she puts them back into the cupboards because it's just not me. It's not my laugh. It's not my spillion. Uh, the kitchen is relatively clean. Relative. I am sweating like crazy. Okay, I'm sweating like crazy. I need me a drink. I know that I haven't eaten today. I know. What we're not going to do is judge me because I'm in the house. I'm sitting in my house and the drink that I'm going to be I'm going to be mixing it quite lightly with sparkling water. Let me show you how I do it before and then I'll just nibble on some popcorn while I wait for my muffin or something. Guys, it smells fucking amazing in this house. It's rising, it's sweet, it smells sweet, it smells cadbury ishy I'm kidding, it smells banana ishy and vanilla ishy Mmm, cinnamon -y -y. Oh my god. Alright, let me make a drink. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Mm -mm. So you guys, you guys, you guys said I poured too much Tanqueray in my drinks. Yeah, some of you were complaining. So I'm going to use the lid as the measure as a tot. And it's not even a tot, but it's fine. I'll use the lid. Because y'all say I drink too much and everything. And I've actually got top glasses in the house. I don't know where they are. I mean, guys, what is that? There's nothing in there, man. My city, city. Oh, come on. You want dead one? So now, guess what, right? Just gonna yank out a few. Hey, easy. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, hey. Trick. This is gonna be one of my favorite vlogs to film, uh, to record, to edit. It's gonna be one of my favorite vlogs to edit because it's different I haven't done this in a while so this is elderflower syrup I take two caps of that easy peasy lemon squeezy ta-da sparkling water that's it see how much I'm actually adding in there so it's quite a lot it's quite a lot it's just a nice little summer drink y'all I'm gonna put it here because I just might have some later <laughs> guys it doesn't even taste like Tanqueray. It tastes like I'm having like a spritzer, like a granita, you know, from Tasha's or something. It tastes like I'm having something really, you know, bubbly and stuff. I don't even taste the tank, really. Because if you think about it, I added that much tank to that much sparkling water, so think about it. Someone's cutting their grass. What a day, what a day, I'm exhausted. Um, so, I'm going to take the muffins out. It's about, literally about seven minutes that I have to take them out. So, I'm going to take the muffins out first because they have browned. And I'm worried that if they stay in there too long, you know. So, let's start with the muffins. Let's start with the muffins. Honey, look. Okay, you can stay in there a little bit longer. Look at these. Look at this. Look at how easy this is. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me have my drink, girl. Ooh! So I'm gonna let them cool a little bit. Let's see, I hope they haven't burnt. Oh no, they didn't burn. It's just the chocolate. Yes, honey. Oh my god, there she is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that looks so good. We're going to do a taste test using those. But that looks amazing. And you can cut it up in like, I think I can get nine squares out of there. That looks so, so good. Oh. All right, so we're done. It looks so good. It's so hot. Okay, 
we'll go with the muffin first almost muffin easy grab it out just gonna have a little bit of a bite mmm mmm so good no oh, it's so good guys you that's what it looks like on the inside you see that you can have this in one go mm. it's moist on the inside I'm sorry I hate that word it's tender, moist on the inside, juicy. Yo, Luna! Mm, if I had a little bit of honey, but it's still sweet. And it's healthy. Mm? Mm? for about another 10 minutes or so and then we'll take them out but for now don't touch it don't touch it mm. 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 gorgeous 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 hey y'all so it's a couple of hours later um it's around six o'clock right now mm -hmm. on the dot um last time i spoke to you guys was around three and I went over to my neighbor's house and I've been sitting at my neighbor's house till now. Had a good time. We we'll always have a good time. Um, so, never got to show you the rest of everything. But basically, I cut up the um, banana bread slash squares, I suppose, uh, into this. And I put it in here. And I gave some over to my neighbor as well. And um, so far, they say they enjoy it. So, that's good. Right now, I'm preparing supper, and I've washed out the pan in which the squares were in, and I've cut out some chicken fillets. I really feel like having um, chicken fillets. I wanted to do that whole TikTok feta pasta with tomatoes, whatever, whatever, but I don't, excuse me, wine. I don't have pasta, so what I'm going to do is just um, put the chicken in the oven, and then I will add some tomatoes to it. I'll season it quite nicely. I'll have the pasta on the stove top going. And then um, as soon as everything is ready, I'll sort of mix it in together into a container. And that's what I'll have for supper. I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm literally going to wing it. But I do want to try this. Let me show you. This is what I want to try. So I've had this for a while. This is the Happy Earth People chickpea pasta as you can see i'm trying to eat a little bit healthier so some chicken spice from woolies that's all it is ah So this is what we've got going we've got the chicken which i showed you how to prepare the chickpea pasta which took about six minutes to prepare which is fantastic sorry fantastic and then i added a little bit of white sauce which for creaminess and that looks amazing 